Right, it's a video for our Canadian customers for Invivo. deals with sending your sound processor over to us for the fixed price repair or diagnostic check of your sound processor. Most Series 1 Type A docks, they're the ones that don't beep when you put the power in. The sound processor, after four or five or plus years, suddenly stops producing sound. Now, we can repair every single one that is sent to us. It's not a question of, we'll try and fix it. We've got all the resources and the tools to repair and service and also fit a modification and some patched firmware and we give a two year warranty. Now we don't make a lot of money doing this service. It takes a while to do each one, but we do it in the interest of saving the dock from landfill, uh, from being scrapped, and also to support the other services we, we uh, provide. For example, the upgrade cards for Bluetooth and other things, because these docks sound great. After all these years, the sound hasn't been surpassed and the quality of the unit is phenomenal. It's got a few little uh, issues which need to be sorted out, but we've done something upwards of 45,000 of them and we've written down every single thing that fails, every batch, manufacturer, type code of component. We also, as I say, address a couple of issues with the actual hardware design. So they are better than when they left the factory and it will sort your problem and you will get someone who answers the phone if you phone us up to help you with any technical queries you might have. Anyway, so here's one that's, um, I'm just looking at ones that have just recently come in the last day or so. This is a Canadian one uh, in an envelope and it's got our address nice and clear. They haven't used our label on the outside because we asked you to stick our label on, which has got barcodes on it. I'll show you in a moment on another one. But you can see they've declared on the CN22 customs declaration, they've de declared circuit board and as it's being returned to you, um, just declare the value of $15 and then it will come straight through our import, straight through the post office and straight to us. And usually it takes between two and three weeks to get here. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's a bit slower. But when it does arrive, when we scan the barcodes, uh, an email is generated and sent to you automatically by our system to confirm safe receipt, all right? So that's what we're looking at. We're talking about $11.98 Canadian to send this to us. And when you buy the repair or you buy the free diagnostic check for the sound processor, you pay the return postage then, it's five or six dollars, I think, all right? Now, inside here, what have we got? What has the customer sent? Customer has sent simply these parts here. The sound processor, the interconnecting ribbon cable, and the docking board. If you don't want us to check the docking board, say that you know your docking board is broken or that you are buying a BC20 or a Bluetooth upgrade, then you really need only send us a sound processor and you can inspect the ribbon carefully. If you've got good eyesight, you can inspect the ribbon. And then if the ribbon looks good, you don't need to send that either, okay? We label everything that arrives separately. So all, the, all these three have got the customer label on the other side. I can't show it to you because it's not really fair putting their details online, okay? But inspect the ribbons carefully, inspect the ribbons carefully, and uh, only send this if you want us to check it. And um, the repair does not cover repair of this if it's badly damaged, but if it's just a question of uh, resoldering a few connections on there to make it work, the engineer will try and repair it, and it won't be you won't be charged extra. But if it's completely failed, then clearly it's faulty, and we'll just mark it faulty and send it back, or contact you you if you haven't ordered an alternative uh, part, say a Bluetooth upgrade. You can see all the other options for upgrade. This video is only dealing with the actual sending this to us from abroad. Okay, so yeah, in a, in a nutshell, I would prefer to see this inside a plastic bag to prevent, prevent moisture getting to it. Um, inside a simple bubble wrap envelope is, is fine, okay? And remember to include our delivery note our delivery note from Canada with our barcodes on and a description of the fault and we love that and then you'll get it back we turn them around in three or four days usually within three days and then uh, if you've already paid if you've ordered the actual repair service and paid for the repair fee you'll just get suddenly a few days after you get the notification of arrival email a day or two later you'll get a notification of shipping email with the shipping details stating that the item is on its way back to you. So I said we've done a lot of these and that's how you send your sound processor in from Canada.
Now, I, we wouldn't really be happy giving this service to many areas of the world <laughs> because the post is unreliable, but we find that providing the customer's address is clearly stated and the, it's correct, then the shipping is very, very reliable. We get very, very low shipping rate losses. And when we do, we just replace the parts that have been lost. So you're not at risk. Otherwise, you'll end up paying $10 each way for extra shipping. And all you get is an, a sort of half-hearted updated thing online about where it is and where it's got to. But when it's lost, it's so onerous to claim for it. And uh, you're hunting around for months you know, we don't have the time to spend doing that. So in the situation where something has definitely got lost, we will replace it or refund you. OK, so that's that. That's the Canadian. So if you've got a, a, a dodgy Soundbox Series 1 or Series 2 and you want your bits fixed, $11.98 is the postage. And it works like clockwork. It's very, very reliable service. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, hope to receive your sound processor very soon.